Okay, children. So let's start our first class of political science. So it will be taken as an introduction to the political science. So if you have the book in front of you, you can just uh, go through that also. So what is politics? What is political science? Okay, what are the scopes of political science we are going to study today? Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so that those who don't have the book can also get the help from it. Now you okay. can see here, the first chapter is all about the introduction to political science. So in this chapter, we'll study about uh, the meaning, scope, and the nature of political science. And then the last one we'll discuss about is, is political science a science? So we need to understand the basic of uh, political science. You can see here, it is mentioned over here in the first sentence. Political science is not a subject, it is a discipline, okay? Political science is a discipline, okay? So being a discipline, it is uh, very, very old. It's in the times of Plato and Aristotle. Plato and Aristotle, they were the one who introduced this uh, city-states and all, okay? So you can see here that uh, political science has its roots dates back to the ancient Greece, during the time of Greece. Okay, you might have heard about the name Greek, right? So there, two great uh, philosophers were there. They were Plato and Aristotle. So now, as the time passed on, the dimension of political science also changed on. Okay, with the introduction of a new theory, that is a behavioral scientific theory, the expansion and the involvement of political science uh, expanded to a great extent. So the traditional meaning of political science, the traditional prospect of political science now has a greater dimension with uh, the modern theories of political science. Okay, so here you can see here two theories are given over here. The first one is a traditional theory of political science or the political theory or a classical political science theory and the second one is uh, modern political science or modern political theory. So before we study about what is the meaning of political science, we need to understand about these two theories, the traditional theory and the modern theory. Okay, so you can see here that uh, uh, in its traditional form, which uh, has been developing since very ancient times, of uh, Greece, that is from 3rd and 4th century, political science continues to be defined as the science of state and government. So during the ancient times, during the classical times, whenever, def whenever whoever defined what is political science, they define that political science is the study of uh, state and government. Political science is the study of state and government. Okay, so mostly political science concentrates on the study of state, government, and all other political institutions. The study of state, study of government, and the rest of rest, all the political institutions are studied within the within the ambit of a political science. Okay, so what is studied in political science? The relation between state and government. Okay, so when we talk about state, definitely government also will be there. So the scope of political science is indefinite. It cannot be ended. Okay. So it is mentioned over here. You can see here. It concentrates on the study of state. Number one, study of government and all other political institutions. It studies this in terms of the organization. Like when we talk about the government and three forms of government we study okay what are the powers of the government we study what are the positions of uh, the power holders within the government we study what is the interrelationship between uh, uh, different uh, departments or governments within the politi uh, political ambit is discussed suppose for example when you discuss about the powers of the prime minister so that also is called political science okay that is also studied with political science in class 10 we discussed about uh, legislature executive judiciary that is also political science so within the state within the state and within the government whichever organs are there that we study in political science okay so whenever we study about the state then definitely we discuss about the philosophical aspect of the state uh, historical aspect of the state Okay, so the theory of state and government, just remember what is political science? Relation between state and government. Relationship between state and government. Okay, so the theory of state, government, 
and all political institutions stands identified as a traditional or classical classical political theory so during the ancient times the, uh, the that means uh, the study of political science was confined to the study of state government and political institutions okay this remains confined in the traditional views of political science as been described or defined by plato and aristotle okay then next comes uh, uh, the modern political science or the modern political theory okay so with the start of uh, middle of uh, 20th century okay many of the political philosophers they started to give a new dimension to political thoughts and ideas so you can it is mentioned over here after the coming of behavioral revolution behavioral revolution is that revolution in which uh, the philosophers studied the behavioral aspect of uh, the institutions like the state government and then they formed different different theories okay so in this uh, that means uh, concept we understand that uh, modern political science or modern political analysis or modern political theory began giving way to new political science new way to political science the uh, the arena of political science which is confined with within the tra traditional uh, uh, aspect now got a greater dimension with the with the start of behavioral revolution okay so it keeps on changing now you can see here suppose for example if you study about the president of our country so does the president remain the same forever no today the president of our country is different every after five years the president of our country changes so the study about the pre president also changes the relationship between the state and government also changes now you can see if you talk about uh, the state india right uh, india as a state it uh, functions as a parliamentary system the same way usa functions as a presidential system so this way different different varieties of uh, governments are uh, there within the world okay children so now directly let us now move on to the main concept that is what is the meaning of political science as we have studied about uh, political uh, theories like traditional theory and uh, uh, the modern theory now we'll study the meaning of uh, political science as per the traditional view what according to traditional view is the meaning of political science tk what is the meaning of political science as per the classical view you can see here is mentioned over here you can see here traditional or classical study of political science began in ancient Greece, as I told you earlier also, okay? So Aristotle was the first person to present the theory of state. So who was the first person to present the theory of state? So it was Aristotle, okay? At that time, used to be called poly, okay? At that time, it was used to be called as poly. The term polis was used in ancient Greece for describing city state in Greece, small, small city states were there, small, small city states were there to describe that this word polis was used. Okay, so what Aristotle observed was that uh, he observed the working of 158 Greek city states within that time during the time of Aristotle all together 158 greek city states were the small small 158 city states were there so he observed the working how does this 158 state works okay so that observation was done by aristotle okay and this all together influence under the influence of aristotle the term politics came to be popularly used so it was uh, the handiwork of uh, Aristotle. Uh, we, it was his influence that uh, politics came to be popularly used for identifying the subject concerned with the study of police. Police means state, study of state. So from the very beginning, what is political politics or political science? Study of state. The traditional view of politics or political science is that it is a study of state. 158 small, small city states were there. So with the observation made by Aristotle, he understood the working pattern of a different, different city states governments. And then he termed it as a politics. Okay, then he termed it as politics. Okay, so then you can see here, 
However, after some time, it was not only uh, Aristotle that he is concerned with political theories and political ideas, but later on, slowly and gradually, many other political philosophers started to study the concept and the ideas and the philosophical philosophical aspect of political theories and ideas. So they started coming up with new new ideas. Like you can see here that uh, after some time, several philosophers began advocating. the use of such terms as political philosophy or political thought it was termed as political philosophy or political thought for the study of state okay so this view was advocated because they felt that the real question to be discussed were what is philosophy of the state what the state should do what should the state do and what should be the relation between the individual and the state so that is the main thing it is not only the study of state and government so the philosophical base and the ideas of these new philosophers they now came up with a different different questions like uh, what is the philosophy of state how to understand state can state be seen can state uh, function accordingly okay or what the state should be how the state should be what should state look like or what should state do what is the main function or the duty of the state and what should be the relation between individual and the state because we live in a state okay we live in a state and what should be the relation between an individual and the state so that also should be studied okay but uh, later on several scholars came up with the view that since there are major concern was the study of state and government it was essential essentially essential to designate the subject as political science the science of state and government so it was later on uh, 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 understood that uh, uh, several scholars came up with their views and ideas that uh, at last the major concern was the study of state and government at the end after going through all these different question what should the state do what say uh, what the state should do what should the state do or what should be the relation between finally they came that ultimately ultimately political science is the subject related with the study of state and government so what is political science study of state and government so finally one sentence what is state political science sorry what is political science political science is the study of a state and government okay so in the last two decades okay of the 19th century the first quarter of 20th the term political science got a near universal acceptance and later on the political science was accepted universally as the study of state and government it was not only confined to greece later on all over the world all over the world the study of state and government was recognized as the study of a political science so what is political science political science is the study of a state and government so the dimension is much larger when we start studying about the state uh, our half of our life will be finished so the scope is much larger as compared to the definition and the meaning of political science okay now uh, some of the definitions are given by uh, philosophers like you can see here you can see uh, paul zenet according to paul zenet what is political so how he has defined so let me tell you my dear now as you are in class 11 my dear whenever you are asked to define political science so definitely what exactly is mentioned in the words of paul zenet getel garner p jenks exactly you have to write the same thing like for example you want to write about paul zenet so according to paul zenet political science is that part of social science which treats of the foundation of the state and the principle of the government isn't it principle and the government isn't it so this this part number 1 did you see political science is that part of uh, the social science which treats of the fo foundation of uh, the state and the principle of the government is it clear now next one you can see here uh, according to gitel according to gitel historical investigation historical investigation historical investigation of what the state has been an analytical study of what the state is and the political ethical discussion of what the state ought to be so indirectly directly this is getel also talks about the relation between the state and the government okay state has been how the state should be what is the analytical study of the state 
okay what is the political ethical discussion of what the state ought to be you know how the state should be the, that is discussed now next one you can see here very simple according to garner very very simple according to garner like uh, according to garner suppose for example you are asked so what define political science so suppose you don't know the rest of the rest of the definitions so a simple remember the garner definition according so whenever you write the definition pension according to garner political science begins and ends with the state political science begins and ends with the state so the political science begins and ends with the state okay the next one you can see here is p jenks according to p jenks uh, political science deals with the state and government so all together after going through all these definitions we understand that what is political science political science is the study of a state and government okay state and some simple two things the relation between state and government so whenever there will be a state government also will be there okay so in order to form the government state is also required in the second chapter we'll discuss about the fundamental concepts of the state okay and it will clear your ideas it will you'll have more much more clear ideas about a state okay so okay, so this is all about this is all about uh, political science so political science what is mean by political science you if you are asked you can write political science the study of state government so if you are asked define political science just see define political science then you write down according to garner okay according to garner political science begins and ends with the state or within inverted commas you mention it political science begins and ends with the state and then double inverted comma close then give a hyphen and then write down the name of the uh, de de definer that is a garner okay so you cannot change the words here and there you cannot change us learn this definitions so that it will be easy to answer whenever you are asked okay now let us move on to uh, the differences according to traditional view what is the difference between politics and political science what is the difference between politics and political science okay traditional view classical uh, and modern view is also there but within modern view there is no differentiation but in traditional view we can differentiate in politics and political science so this part if you understand clearly it will be easy for you to understand so directly let's come down so you can see here pollock tries to pollock tries to just a minute pollock tries to clarify the distinction between politics and political science so you can see a politics and political science this two what is the differences between politics and political science so now one by one we will study about uh, this okay now you can see here number 1 number 1 theoretical politics okay now you can see here before that you can see here theoretical politics and applied politics theoretical politics means when we study that is theory okay when we apply that theory in a practical form that is applied politics now you can see a theoretical politics it is scope the theory of state sovereignty theory of government whenever you study about the state government the organs of the government in in the form of book we study only we are not applying that that is theoretical politics okay that is theoretical politics and next one is when the same theory when we apply okay apply that is known as applied politics its scope includes the existing form of government the state as it exists the government constitutional law uses parliamentary system army navy police currency budget trade laws so all these are within the ambit ambit of a state okay so now let us move on to the difference we now are going to differentiate between politics and political science this is very very easy you will easily understand the concept okay now you can see here number 1 just listen to it politics and political science what is the difference between politics and political science number 1 politics is concerned with day to day actual activities of the government whatever activities are performed by the government that is politics very simple the day to day activity of the government okay passing a bill monitoring the finance looking after the country and coming up with new new laws ideas 
ओके तो डे टू डे एक्टिविटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉन एज पॉलिटिक्स डे टू डे ओके नाउ वट इज पोलिटिकल साइंस तो डे टू डे वर्क ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉन एज पॉलिटिक्स देन पोलिटिकल साइंस सिक्स टू स्टडी एंड एक्सप्लेन द थियोरी ऑफ फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑरिजिन नेचर स्कोप पावर्स ऑफ द स्टेट एंड गवर्नमेंट ओके वॉट द गवर्नमेंट डज एवरी डे is political science what the government should do when it is written in the book that is political science right now the book which we are studying is political science book isn't it what is written the theory is about political science theory is about the politics uh, political science uh, state government everything is meant so this is political theory okay political science studies about the state and government but what is politics politics is politics is the government's day to day activities okay once again politics is concerned with the day to day activity of the government whereas uh, political science seeks to explain and uh, study the theories of what is uh, state what is government how the government is formed what are the elements of the state so that is discussed in the book and when we study that book that book is known as political science okay political science is a theory okay now number 2 number 2 number 2 you can see here that uh, politics means the actual behavior of politics politics means the actual behavior of politics practically that is whose political activity which actually takes place in society that means the political activity which is really taking place in a society is known as politics okay the government comes out with different different policies when they implement those policies though practically we see the work of the government the activities of the government actually seen in the society it is known as politics that is i told you know the day to day work whatever government does to various agencies that is politics okay and on the other hand on the other hand you can see here political science is that is that social science which studies state and government again the same thing political science is uh, that social science uh, which studies state and government so one side practical other side theory politics is practical whereas uh, political science is theoretical okay now next one you can see here number 3 number 3 you can see here politics is practical activity as i told you what is politics politics is practical activity whereas political science involves whereas political science involves an academic exercise involving the study of certain government so when we study in school that is upper class uh, that is upper 10 11 12 and when we go to colleges and universities when we study about state and government in uh, various forms in a lengthiest form that is political science as i told you earlier political science is not a subject political science is a discipline okay so politics is practical whereas political science is uh, the involvement of the study of state and government okay when you are studying about the state and government that is political science okay now number 4 politics differ from state to state that is correct that is correct our government works in a different way the us government works in a different way okay the day to day work of the government is different in all the states all the different different countries okay so many countries are there in the world so different governments are functioning in their uh, in this world so the politics differ that means the activities of the government differ from state to state okay state to state then the principle of political science are universal so whatever we study about state is studied all over the world please whoever has please mute mute so next one you can see here as i told you earlier politics of different states differ different different states they have different different political activities but uh, the study of political science is universal what we are studying right now here is studied by the student of america also okay the theory of political science are accepted worldwide okay that is why differ from state to state but the principle of political science is universal political science are universal. all over the world the same theory is studied okay like you can see here politics in india 
politics in India and Britain is different, right? The politics of India and Great Britain is different, but the theory of political science is same. Theory, theory means what is political science? The theory of political science is same for both the countries, India and Great Britain. Okay, now next one you can see here. Yeah? Number five, number five, you can see here. Number five, whereas each one of us is involved in politics one way or other, every one of us are involved in politics one way or the other. Political science is studied only by student. Okay, I'm also involved in politics. You are also involved in politics. Everyone is involved in politics. Okay, everyone is involved in politics. Each one of us is involved in politics, but Political science is studied only by the students, right? Political science is studied only by the students. Science students, they will not study political science. Commerce students will not study political science, okay? But they may be involved in politics, but uh, they may not be studying the political science. So political science is studied only by the, political science is studied only by the student of political science, okay? The politicians are engaged in politics. Number one, see here. Politicians, politicians are engaged in politics. Whereas teachers and students are engaged in study of political science. That is state and government. Isn't it? State and government. Politics, politicians are involved in politics. Whereas politi teachers and students are engaged in the study of uh, state and government. State and government. Okay, now you can see here, number six, number six, difference between politics and political science is reflected by the fact that a politician can take part in politics without studying political science. Very, very, uh, you can see this, unacceptable, right? That means politicians can take part in politics without studying political science. And a student of political science may or may not take active part in politics. So you can see the differences. Our politicians can take part in politics without studying political science. But uh, it is not necessary that uh, the student who has studied political science must take part in politics. It is not so. Okay. So very often a person having a knowledge, person having a knowledge of political science fails to act successfully in politics. I have so much of knowledge. We have so much of knowledge in political science, but uh, it is not necessary that you will become successful in politics. So that is why he said, no, politics and political science is reflected by the fact that politicians can take part. Politicians can take part in pol politics without the study of political science. But the student of political science may or may not take active part in politics may or may not take active part in politics. OK. Now, so this is all about the differences between politics and political science. So in one sentence, day to day work of the government is politics, whereas the study of state and government is political science. OK, everyone can be involved in politics, but uh, political science is studied only by students. So it is not necessary that those who have studied political science, they can actively take part in politics. But those who have not studied about, those who don't have any idea about political science, they also become successful in politics. Okay, so that was all about difference between politics and political science. Now next one you can see a uh, modern view. So uh, within the modern view, there is no difference. Within the modern view, no difference between politics and political science. So directly it is mentioned over here. There is no difference between politics and political science. No difference between politics and political science. OK, so it is mentioned over here clearly in contemporary time at, in the present time. In contemporary time, this view of difference between politics and political science is not accepted by modern political scientists. So modern political scientists, they don't accept the differences between politics and political science. 
okay so it is mentioned almost all modern political scientists accept the view that there is a little substance in making a distinction between politics and political science so there is very little space to make a difference in politics and political science okay so political science studies politics and hence can be called politics so it is mentioned over here you can see here once again i am just uh, marking it political science studies politics and hence it can be called politics hence it can be called politics political science studies politics that is why it can be called only politics so state and government are the two main institutions of political life of man this two two uh, main institutions of political life of man which are main object of the study in politics so that is two which are the two number one state number two government state and government are the two main institutions which we are always involved and we are surrounded with we live in a state we are governed by the government and all so our life revolves around state and government whatever we do we do within the state whatever we follow we follow the rules and regulations of the government okay so lastly hence political science hence political science as the science of politics and it can be called politics hence political science as the science of politics and it can be called politics okay so this is all about uh, the concept of political science now let us now move on to the meaning of political science according to modern view according to the traditional view we studied it is a study of state and government now we'll study about uh, modern view so you can see a uh, first of all few definitions some modern definitions of political science you can see here it is given written by many of the great philosophers at the price so in the previous part we discussed no state and government political science is study of state and government so here let us see whether that matches with the modern view or not politics is the exercise of power politics is the exercise of power in society as a subject of study politics means the study of power relation society that is also same that means relation within the society okay now let us move on to this one kathleen what does kathleen talk about politics politics is the study of political aspect of organized human society that is true human organized human organized society when we study about the human organized society that is politics so politics is a struggle for power and influence so politics you can see here politics is the struggle for power and influence okay the next one you can see here according to robert de hall politics that is political science is any persistent pattern of human relation involving to the significant extent power rule authority or control so all together when we study we come to know that uh, though the modern views also talks in a different way in relation to the state and government okay so this is all about uh, political theory as per traditional view and modern view you can see here now second paragraph i am going to tell you you can see this second paragraph modern political scientists reject the traditional view of difference in politics and political science politics is defined as a process of struggle for power in society or as the process of conflict resolution in each society okay now the last sentence you see here this concept involved within itself the traditional concept of state so whenever we talk about modern view also there also the traditional concept is involved traditional concept and though they may take it in a different dimension but the ultimate core involvement of state and government is there state and government is there okay so this is all about uh, political science the traditional view and the modern view of political science okay so this is the concept all about political science so hope you all have understood it in the second uh, part of this video we'll discuss about the scope of political science so within the scope of political science we'll study about uh, the various dimensions of political science one we'll meet again next class till then take care stay safe bye bye